Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the state of Washington with the imbecilic frauditor known as I Am Free Inland Media Audits as he attempts to audit the local school board and, uh, well, ends up getting himself booted and trespassed out of the area and banned for life from all schools in the district. Oh my goodness. You have to be an incredibly stupid person to get yourself banned for life from a school. Oh boy, yeah. That just shows the quality of these idiots that do this kind of thing. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now, to me, the fact that this guy wearing this mask right here managed to get into the school board building itself is quite disturbing to me because generally, well, limited public forums and uh, high security areas. I know the school district in which I work, well, you can't get into any school without uh, announcing who you are to a security box right outside and uh, going to a sign-in sheet just inside and uh, making sure that everybody knows that you are supposed to be there if you have an actual purpose of being there besides just being a dumbass First Amendment auditor. Doing great. How are you doing today? Good. Who are you? Oh, my name's Steve. You're who? My name's Steve. Steve. Oh, what are you doing? I'll just gather some content. For what? That's uh, something I'm working on. What is it? I can't share it. Yeah, it's kind of a secret. Just working on a story. Oh. So. Okay. I just want to flash forward here a minute because listen to what he just said. He said the basically the same thing that every frauditor says out there. I'm working on a story, blah, blah, blah. And he doesn't want to give any uh, I, information about what he is working on. So let's flash forward to the point where he's talking to the city attorney and upset that he got trespassed. And he gives his reason right there. Hi. Hi. I'm Andrea, I'm the city attorney. Oh, hi, how you doing? I am looking to get a trespass warning rescinded. Uh, I was working on a story over at the Sumner Bonnie Lake School Admin Building, uh, just some allegations of abusive behavior and whatnot. So I went over to work on that. Uh, while within the building only for a few minutes, the school administration officials just kind of swarmed me, told me I couldn't be there working on a story, that kind of stuff. Flashback. Steve, oh, what are you doing? I'll just gather some content. For what? That's something I'm working on. What is it? I can't share it. Yeah, it's kind of a secret. Just working on a story, oh. so. End of flashback. Well, you know what they say. You gotta lie to fraud it. And, you know, this guy is definitely lying his ass off about what he said in the beginning. So let's carry on, shall we? Yeah. You didn't know you're here? Are you all, like, signed in and everything? Uh, no, there was no one up here, so... Well, why don't you come this way? For what? Because you need to sign in. Oh, sure, where's the sign in at? It's right here. Oh, you bet. No problem. Oh, it is the 12th today, isn't it?
There you go. Hey, how's it going? Good, how you Can doing? we help you with something? No, I'm Questions good to go. Questions or anything? Nope. Got everything I need. Okay. You're not here to see anybody in particular? Nope. We're, okay. Yeah. Well, you can't really roam freely through the building. Oh, why would Can you I say that? Can I get one of the superintendents to escort you around the building if you need to look Oh, if somebody something? wants to walk with me, I mean, heck. Okay. I don't mind company, but do that? So yeah, I'll just, uh, can you head around? Fine. Appreciate it. Don't be taking my picture. <laughs> well, well, gee, dude, I wonder if this is why you got trespassed. Because, well, you didn't want to wait for the superintendents to come by and show you the building. I'm sure they would have been happy to do that. But you just had to walk along the halls of a pretty much so it's supposed to be a secure building for obvious reasons and then afterward you go crying to everybody in the area about how you were mistreated and everything like that oh gee i wonder why the reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass hey how's it going good good Can have you go downstairs please what was that just because we that's where we have everybody check in for oh, all did. of our stuff and we would like rather do you just stay there until somebody comes to get you to go the to the sign in sheet says you need to be escorted oh well, yeah someone wants to come up with me that's fine yeah, it's a public building though so i appreciate it well i just gotta get some content over here uh, do you work here do you work here yes i do okay uh my name's steve by the way okay what's your name my name is Val Wright. This is my assistant superintendent. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. All visitors, all visitors need to be escorted past the lobby. So as we saw on the sign-in sheet, there you saw when you sign in there. Yeah, if you want to have someone go with you, that's fine. There's a note? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just going to finish gathering my content. So, appreciate it. So, where are you, where are you headed? I'm just checking out the building. Yeah, you can go downstairs. Sorry, sir, but... Uh, you don't know who you're talking to. You're talking to uh, a First Amendment frauditor. They don't take orders from anybody at all. In fact, I'm sure if some of them had the balls, they would actually go to the Pentagon and try that there. But you know what? They're too much of a cowardly bunch to do so anyway. It's something I'd love to see them try, though. Yeah. So you. So the way it works, we have a visitor sign in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and to be escorted into the private offices and that. Well, there's you have like to... seriously five people here. What do you want to just escort me? That's fine. Yeah. So, so I'm, my name is Brian Chair. I'm the director for safety and security. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Steve. So I, I do need you to go downstairs. That's you can film in the lobby, lobby if you want, <laughs> but you can't just wander around through offices. <laughs> oh, sure I can. Yeah, it's a public building. Okay, so do you want me to call the police or? Well, I'd rather. If it's up, it's up to you. Not, but if you're going to call the police, I'll sure. certainly wait for him. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, let's go downstairs and All wait right. down there. Thanks. Okay. Where's your uh, PRO office, by the way? You'd have to make an appointment with her. You have it's to it's up here. Yeah. So, the, the like I said, when a visitor checks in, you you wait in the lobby for the person to come up for your appointment, but you don't just wander uh, around. That doesn't yeah. doesn't work like that. We don't it do that. It sure does. Yeah. No. I wonder why you didn't tell this guy about. Uh, the allegations that you heard, and uh, maybe then they would have at least talked to you, which that suggests to me that you probably pulled that uh, allegation out of your ass when you were talking to the city attorney. Yeah, they, which uh, basically builds on the fact that you idiots lie all the time. You just make up shit on the spot. We're going to have uh, our school resource officer come over. He's with, Bonnet, with Sumner PD. Sure, you bet. So I'll inform him that I instructed you to be downstairs. Okay. You're not cooperating. Correct. And so then he'll do whatever he's going to do. Yeah, you and bet. Did you sign in? Okay. I did. As, as your name? Uh, Gandalf White. And you you put down what was your what was your purpose of the visit? Oh, I didn't put that down. No. Yeah, you need to do that. Really? Yeah. I so make, just want to make sure I, <laughs> I just want to make sure I get this recorded. Uh, that's really important. What you just said. So you're going to make me speak? No, I didn't say I was going to make you speak. You need to state your purpose on the visitor check-in. Who are you here to meet with? Let's rewind that a bit. I need to state my purpose. Yeah. So if you went into what one of our bills, what would that lawfully be considered? Would that be considered? 
compulsory speech? Gosh, that's a little awkward. Just need to know what your per employee? I'm a state employee, yeah. A district employee. <laughs> What's your name again? Okay, look, here, I'm going to make this really So simple. I'm going to make it real simple for no, you. We have really the police come you. over here, and you're going to be trespassed. You need, you need so. to seek legal counsel right now. The thing you know what I consider to be a little bit awkward? The fact that you uh, think that, well, identifying your purpose in this building is compelled or compulsory uh, speech. Uh, no, dude, uh, you are way off base in this particular case. Uh, Mr. YouTube law expert. So please try it again. Just sit and jamming you up. Okay? okay. And if you're the assistant superintendent, you need to think hard about what your employee <clears throat> here is doing because this is going to jam you guys up hard. Great. Okay? We'll invite you to go downstairs. Um, to you the can lobby. invite whatever you want. I, I've already asked you multiple times yeah, to go yeah, downstairs and wait in the lobby. So, are you doing I'm that? just or here, doing that? I'm I'm just here you working on something. And I appreciate you providing the escort. See? You bet. This doesn't have to be so adversarial, man. You don't have to be all ginned up. No, I know. I what well, I asked you to wait bit, downstairs, and you've got right now. Man, to be well, honest, well, why am I doing that? Because you seem because you're not cooperating. Unreasonable. No, I asked you to go downstairs and wait in the lobby because yeah. you don't have a purpose. Sometimes here. you don't get what you want in life, man. Sometimes you don't get what you want. Oh, so you're trying to enforce your will upon everybody in this building. You do what I say or else. I mean, that's all I've been hearing throughout this whole endeavor right here. But it's not going to work out for you this time because the police are going to escort you out of the building and you will be banned for life from this school district. Well, only 12,000 plus more school districts to go after that. Many, many minutes later. The other three, you guys, since he's being unreasonable, know where the public records officer's office is. Any idea? Four of you can't assist a citizen with the PRO. Really? <laughs> four. You consider this approach that four you're public is service. a quality way of getting any information whatsoever at all from any agency, government or not. This has nothing to do with or not. I'm here at a government public building looking to conduct business. And you must stay in the lobby. You must stay in the You must stay in the lobby until moved to no, a you different told me who you are. I told you I was the director of safety. I have identified have who I am. You haven't done that. Oh, you need to take it down a minute. Okay? No, I you don't. You need to take it down a notch. I'm You're acting unreasonable. No. You're getting really close to going over the line of disorderly. You have people okay? inside this building that are scared right now. Come on now, Frauditor, think about this. You have an idiot dressed like this with a mask coming into a school board, demanding everything and under the sun, acting like a complete jackass, acting like he is their boss, which he is obviously not, and you think people aren't going to react negatively towards you? Well, it's like I always said, Frauditors really have no empathy toward anybody but themselves. It's all about them. If you're scared, they don't give a shit about you. It's not just for police. Fourth Amendment search and seizure. Yes, yes. I'm secure, my persons, my facts, and my papers. I don't need to No, I don't know that because you haven't identified who you are. You have showed me nothing. My God, man. Go back to civics class. Well, you're you old you enough, you should have gone through this. Yeah, you too. What's that? The name that you signed in under, is it the same as your ID? I don't answer those questions. You're a government oh, employee. Oh, so why should I answer your questions because when you you're won't a be public lit, no, You are not being Unless you're not honest with me. Unless you're not. You're not being so. honest with me. So he's falsely identifying. You're himself. falsely identifying, you identifying yourself. So so and you're not. You're not identifying us. yourself at all. But according to the record down there, is that your name? If that's your name, that's I mean you have identified. If it's not actually your name, when the police get here, that's an entirely different situation, isn't it? What is that situation when the police oh, get here? Oh goodness. Hey, Frauditor, can you please explain to me how showing your government-issued identification card, whether it be the driver's license or a regular identification card, should you not be a driver, be a Fourth Amendment violation, considering that it is a government-issued card for identification purposes? Can you please explain that? It is not your personal property to begin with at that.
Then there is a matter of identifying those who are going into the uh, schools or school boards just for security reasons. That way, we don't have maniacs going around wreaking havoc. You guys are really unprofessional. You guys need to. I'm, I'll, I'll tell you, actually, at this point. At this point, we're not going to respond. I'll tell you exactly. Gonna, let's, let's, let's go downstairs. we got a police officer. I'll tell you exactly. Or, are you coming downstairs? Or yeah. do they need to come up, come up here? Come up here. Okay. That's fine. I'm trying to get a public Hey Matt, request. can you come on up here? I'm trying to get a public records request done. I'm trying to petition the school district to seek redress of grievances, and I'm working on a story. So what would be really great right now is if the four of you could actually just assist me in that. So Matt, uh, is that gonna John happen or not? He hasn't identified who he is. He did sign <coughs> But I don't know who he is, what his purpose here. So what I'd like you to do is trespass okay. him because he doesn't have a purpose really here. He hasn't stated yeah, his purpose. Yeah, he's public and I don't know I'm what he's doing. In. He's I'm masked up. He's got his glasses fixed. on. Okay. So. We're gonna, sorry, I'm trying to get a public <laughs> records request. He's okay. signed in as Gandalf the White. Okay. I'll talk to you for a second. Sure. Uh, <laughs> officer, do you have a body camera running? I do. Okay, good. You sound so confident that it's going to be working out for you in this uh, particular case. Well, let's go ahead and uh, fast forward to where uh, the frauder ends up uh, being escorted out of the building. And uh, he decides to, well, complain about it. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. 346 minutes later. So it's, uh, oh, by the way, uh, Watson? Officer Watson, yep. Great. You got a business card by chance? Yep. I'll give you one in just a sec. Okay, cool. So they're going to want you off the property. So you're going to get <laughs> trespassed. Okay. Okay. So they're going to get you their form now. So let's go downstairs and we'll get, get, out, get out of here. Okay, and, and just to be clear, if I don't leave, you're going to take me into custody? We'll talk about that here in no, a second. No, no, no. Am I going to be taking the custody if you I... Call, you could. So you're going to trespass me? You're going to get trespassed, yep. Okay. If you don't leave, once you've been trespassed, then yeah, you'll get arrested if you don't leave. Do you have the uh, 115 document? Right, we'll talk down here. I'm happy to talk about that, but you, I, you are going to give me a trespass form? Yes, sir. Okay, I need this filled out too. <laughs> Okay. Keep 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 going, please. Here's your farm. <coughs> this is your farm that you requested. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. YouTube Law Expert, what do you think about it now? You got yourself trespassed, but of course it's not over yet. He's going to be crying and whining and complaining and everything like that, like a little butt hurt man child. So let's continue on, shall we? Give him trespass? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to my car, sir. Oh, hold, hold, no, hold, hold on a minute there, Watson. No, you am hold I on. Be, am I being trespassed? Yeah, am, I being form, tre am I being trespassed? Yes, sir. Okay. I am being trespassed yes, or not? Okay. And if I don't leave, I'll be arrested. Yes, sir. Okay. What's that? I, can, hey, I should have one. I stay trespass. And actually, while we do this, I need to make a criminal complaint. <laughs> okay. As in right now. You guys, right? I yeah. <laughs> you need to make a complaint about what? A criminal complaint. Regarding what? Unlawful trespass and deprivation okay. of okay. rights. Well, you can go down and talk to my chief if you'd like when we're done here. No, I'm making a criminal complaint with a police officer. I understand that. A complaint or not? Sure, but I'm having my chief do it for you, not so me. So he's going to take it for sure. Maybe you can talk to him though. Yeah, this moron uh, goes to the uh, police department and complains about deprivation of uh, rights under color of law, which that's just civil rights. He, his civil rights were not violated in this situation. And he goes on about the official misconduct and everything like that in this particular uh, statute. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, that doesn't work either in this scenario. You were lawfully trespassed. You were asked to leave the building on several occasions and the police officers came over and removed you at the request of the uh, school board. So shut your damn mouth and go to all the other 12 plus thousand uh, school districts and get yourself permanently banned from them and you'll well, maybe you'll finally learn how it really works. Yeah, you should go do that. I wonder how long it would take you to get banned from uh, that many uh, school districts. Probably the rest of your life.
Well, it would at least keep you busy. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised.